yeah, we're gonna get sciency here. Hope you're everything. What up? My name is Comet, and today on the Vulcan Reapers, I'm doing a vlog. Yay! Apparently, it's my turn. So recently, my cat's been sick. In case you couldn't tell by the title of the video, that's what we get to talk about today. On Saturday, yes, this last Saturday, Milo was confirmed to have something called a Porto systemic shunt. I really hope I did that in the right direction. Which is really just the fancy doctor way of saying he has a liver shunt. Which, to put it simply, is basically a tube that takes his blood either around or straight through the liver without letting it process within the liver. Now the liver's function is to detoxify and take out bacteria that's in the blood. Since his blood just either shoots through it or goes around it, he'll get sick from the bacteria and toxins in his blood. What causes a lot of the bacteria in the body is um, high protein diets. Cats have high protein diets because they're carnivores. They eat meat, so with this shunt he can't have protein. Come here. Oh no, yeah, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. You know what's coming. Hi everybody, meet Milo. Isn't he just adorable and he's purring and he doesn't want to be put up to the camera? Just to say hi really quickly and okay, bye. We're switching him from his high protein kitten food to a low protein um, dry food. We do have an emergency can of wet food. So we have one of those for emergencies like if he's not getting enough water with his food or he's just not drinking water or eating his food for whatever reason. His stomach's upset. He just went too long without food, which he doesn't do very often, so thank God for that. We got him on the special food diet. Other than that, there's a medication we can try. I don't feel it necessary to use it. Um, it's a laxative. It just basically pushes everything out faster. And when he's a little bit healthier and a little bit older, I want to try and get him to be one, so around April probably. Um, I want to get him to see a specialist so that they can tell me whether it, the shunt is on the outside of the liver or the inside. Um, is it operable? What are the risks for operating on it? Even after they've been operated on, the life expectancy for shunt cats is anywhere from a couple months to a couple years. So we won't know when we'll have to put them down. We know it is an eventuality. I already cried and accepted that in my blanket cocoon. I'm not... <laughs> Those are the options for now. I will not hesitate to put him down if he's in pain. Cause you're my baby and I don't want you to be hurting. Listen to the Perrykins. Listen to the Perrykins. So we're gonna keep him on his new food. I'm gonna keep a log of his uh, activity, um, his moods, his three levels of health. First level, purring, happy, running around, playing, being an all-around kitten like he should be. Highest level of health. Lowest level of health is when he doesn't move and he drools. And then the mid-range is pretty much anywhere between he's not drooling but he's not purring. That's it. Live long and prosper, nerds. Do you, do you want to say goodbye? Now that you're all comfy on my lap, do you want an aerial and say goodbye? Say bye. Say bye-bye. You don't even care. Say bye-bye. Sorry about the quality, too. I'm doing it on my webcam. Boop. 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 Oh, yeah. I, I cut and dyed my hair, too. It's, it's, actually, it's actually very short. It's all gone. All of it's gone. Bye. Hey, Milo. Milo, Milo who do you love for kicking on the heat? Who, who do you love for turning the heater on? Huh? Who do, you, who do you love? Who do you love? Who you love? Who you love? You love me for turning on the heater so you could have a butt warmer?